Good morning, this is Jason from Blue Weather, here to update you on your daily weather forecast. Uh, if you like weather-related videos, like this video, subscribe below, and you can also find Blue Weather on Facebook.com. Hey, let's get into it. The reason why you see this image here is because we expect some cooler weather to come in. thought it was a good idea to put on here showing a 70 degree temp let's get into it there right here we have the uh, cfs model and uh, uh what you see here on the eastern coast is for days one through seven and uh, you can see that we're either at normal or slightly below like in the kentucky and tennessee areas as far as temperature goes but as we get into days eight through fourteen uh from today you notice that a trough will happen here in the east coast and that'll bring cooler air and uh so any of you west virginians going to the uh state fair of west virginia coming up uh, on the weekend of the 10th may actually the first part of that state fair actually get a little bit of relief uh heat wise so you don't absolutely burn up out there on that asphalt walking around just figured any of you guys may want to know that. Um, as far as those temperatures goes, we, we look for a few days. It might just be in the 70s. Uh, this is for days 15 through 21. And as you can tell, uh, the red area returns to the east coast, except north of West Virginia. It will be around normal, but the heat will return about the, about the middle of August. As far as today goes, if you notice here in Ohio and Kentucky, this this is for 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, you can see the um, storms moving to the northeast out of Kentucky and Ohio. Uh, but as you get into about 1 o'clock this afternoon, you can see that those showers are still continuing to go through up that area, but now through... Virginia and West Virginia, you start seeing some of those thunderstorms start to pop up there as we get into the heat of the day. This is the current radar here this morning, and you can already see what I was talking about there, but uh, 7 a.m. radar showing uh, the same thing that the model was shown on the high resolution model there. And like I said, into further east into West Virginia and Virginia, you'll see those start to pop up as well this afternoon. And last but not least, uh, keeping an eye on the uh, Atlantic uh, Ocean there. Uh, have a couple disturbances out there that could affect our weather later. We'll just have to watch and see. They have, uh, at the moment, less than a 40% chance of developing into something tropical, but we've got our eyes on it. Uh, just so you know that uh, peak hurricane se uh, season is August, September, and October. So we're getting ready to go into peak season here pretty soon. So it could be an initial uh, startup of the hurricane season getting really active. Uh, appreciate your support. Like, like this video.